Scan your surroundings and floor area to place the virtual cylinder on the location you intend to keep your Make sure that there is no burning flame or any sparking electric point within the zone highlighted around the cylinder. Also, preferably do not use and charge any mobile phone in the represented zone. Ensure you have oxygen cylinder spanner with valve key as shown on left. In case you don't have this spanner, you can use a standard spanner size 27 and 17 along with a goose neck spanner size 9 to fix the flow meter and open main cylinder valve as shown on the right. Select the type of flow meter kit. Assemble pressure gauge to humidifier by rotating screw in clockwise direction and tightening with size 17 spanner. Assemble flow meter on oxygen cylinder by aligning nozzle to valve. Rotate nozzle bolt in clockwise direction. Use wrench or spanner size 27 to secure nozzle tightly to avoid leakage. Remove the bottle from humidifier by rotating clockwise. Fill the distilled or RO water below maximum water line. Attach it to a humidifier by rotating in anti-clockwise direction. Open the oxygen cylinder valve using key or goose neck spanner size 9 in anti-clockwise direction. Check pressure reading, if the needle indicates zero, that means the cylinder is empty, if the needle is going up that indicates that the cylinder is filled. Ensure that the pressure needle is in green zone before using the cylinder. Pour small quantity of diluted soap water on fittings to check for leakage and ensure no bubbles are being formed. Insert the mask tube to the flow meter nozzle. Rotate the flow meter regulator in anti-clockwise direction to allow and start the oxygen flow to mask. As the regulator is opened, the flow meter indicator will lift and indicate the oxygen flow rate. Please adjust the flow as per doctor's advice. For a typical patient anywhere between 2 to 4 liter per minute of oxygen flow rate should suffice. Place the mask on the patient and breathe normally.